Ladies and gentlemen, today we are doing an Arizona Cardinals seven-round mock draft. This is based on my first-round mock that came out on Monday. You can check that out right here if you have not seen it yet. It'll give you a little bit of insight on how we got here today. A couple notes, I do not do compensatory picks because they're not finalized. We have picked 20 in the first round, 52 in the second, 84 in the third, 1 in 48 in the fifth, and 2-1-2 in the seventh. That's how I said it. I felt like saying it that way. Leave me alone. Those are all the picks we have. That's all we're doing. Let's get it started. With the 20th overall pick in the first round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Arizona Cardinals select Sean Wade, cornerback, Ohio State. Um, look, e even if we like the guys that we have, and I'm not going to get into you know your opinion on them, feel free to let me know your opinion of them. Regardless, even if we like, let's say, Byron Murphy, we got Dre Kirkpatrick, we got Kevin uh, Peterson, Patrick Peterson, Jonathan Joseph, the, the Peterson Twins, they're all free agents in 2021. And again, even if we re-sign some of these guys, it's, it's simply a numbers game at this point. I'm not personally impressed overall with the cornerbacks, but even if you are, it's a numbers game. We don't have enough bodies to play cornerback. We have to get more bodies. We're going to go out and we're going to get Sean Wade with pick 20 in the first round. With the 52nd overall pick in the second round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Arizona Cardinals select Jackson Carmen, offensive tackle, Clemson. Um... Look, Humphreys is clearly a stud. I'm a big fan of him. Beecham is on the way out, and he's not that great anyways, and I'm really just not a big Josh Jones believer. I don't think there's anything really there to get excited about. Third-round pick, maybe, I don't know, but we got to do better. we got to protect our quarterback, keep this offense stoked up. I do think things are improving. I like the direction our quarterback is headed. Um, a couple bumps in the road, obviously, recent memory, uh, maybe not the greatest memory in the world, but... He has shown signs of improvement. We got to keep this thing fired up, and so um, I mean, it's just it's it's critical to get good tackles. So we're getting a tackle. There's no reason to over-explain that. With the 84th pick in the third round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Arizona Cardinals select Deo Odeyingbo, edge rusher, Vanderbilt. Um, Hassan Reddick is a free agent. I'm assuming you're going to re-sign him. Doing a good job in terms of getting a ton of pressures, especially recently. I think he's over the last quarter of the the season been the number one pressure guy in the NFL. Um, but even so, first of all, we need more. We do have some guys that are leaving. We got, I know we have a lot of guys on IR, but I'm not really big on any of them anyways. So I don't think there's somebody that's like, well, when they come back, we don't need this. No, we do need this. Um, but even so, Hassan Reddick is, as much as he's a pressure guy, I don't know that he provides much else, uh, especially by way of run defense. He's a smaller guy. Um, so we just need, we need more, we need better. And so we're going to take a swing at Deo Odeyingbo. With the um, 148th pick in the fifth round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Arizona Cardinals select Dante Stills, defensive tackle, West Virginia. I try to keep things positive and not call people trash because fans don't like that, but this is a, come on, man. Th this defensive line is just bad. So <laughs> we headed an edge rusher, which is going to help the defensive line overall. But, I mean, I'm just looking at the guys that you got here, and, and from a PFF standpoint, and I know some of you don't care, but this is this is putrid. Of the guys that have played enough snaps to even get a ranking, out of 131 defensive tackles, we have Marcus Golden, 70, or he's an edge rusher, sorry, but he's still 74th out of 130. Uh, uh, Corey Peters, 72nd out of 131. Zach Allen, 99th. Lecky Foe, 2, 124th. Angelo Blackson, 121st. And the guys that haven't played enough snaps that are still graded are just as bad, if not worse. Michael Dogby, 47 overall grade. Morrow is a third, basically a 40. Damata Pecco is a 41. They're all in the 40s, which is putrid. So, you know, look, again, I'm trying to keep it positive, but this is beyond horrible. We have to get much better. It kind of stinks we waited until the fifth round, but, you know, there's not only so many picks to go around. So Dante Stills in the fifth round to the Cardinals. With the 212th pick in the seventh round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Arizona Cardinals select Amari Grainer, linebacker, Florida State. Probably not going to be super positive, uh, liked, I can't, the word is escaping me, because of Isaiah Simmons. Um, look, Isaiah Simmons obviously is going to be the guy for a while just because he was a eighth overall selection, but I don't, I'm not a big fan of really any of your linebackers. Isaiah Simmons, we have to assume, is going to get better at some point. Um, he's definitely not there yet. Again, just looking at the grades here, he's had basically three games where he's graded out positively. Uh, on the entire season, he has 122 basically passer rating when targeted, which is kind of terrible. Um, 
it's just not going well. I mean, he's, he's got as many grades in the 30s or below as he does in the 70s or above. So he's got a ways to go, but even so. He, okay, so Isaiah Simmons is clearly the guy. He's going to get better. Maybe you think he's already elite, fine, great, whatever. That's your uh, delusions to work through. But even so, we need more people, right? We've got uh, Devondre Campbell, Tanner Vallejo, whatever, Zeke Turner. They're all going to be going bye-bye pretty soon. Jordan Hicks is not a very good football player. So Isaiah Simmons, and we need some competition, and that's really what we're going to be getting from Amari Grainer. It's a seventh-round pick, so really all we can ask for is bodies and competition. That's what we're going to get out of this. Again, it's not a knock necessarily on Simmons, although he hasn't been that great. It's just the fact that we're not good at the position. We need more bodies, and so there you go. That's going to do it for our seven-round mock draft for the Arizona Cardinals. Please subscribe to the channel. If you have not done so already, hit the little bell notification so you don't miss any other episodes. Please leave a like and a comment to let me know what you thought of the mock draft. Otherwise, have a great day.